Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about Firebase Crash Analytics. So, Crash Analytics is a combination of two words, Crash and Analytics. So, Analytics of the Crash is, is called Crash Analytics. So, Crash Analytics is a popular service and which it is very helpful, which helps us to track our application. If our, let's say we have an application and we are distributing it to our users. And if we have Crash Analytics integrated in that, then we are able to see if some user experience some crashes while doing some task in our application and we get that crash analytics i mean error logs crash logs on our portals of crash analytics and he, then we can see there where the actually crash happened and we can then fix it and in the next update we can roll out that release and get rid of that crash so this is how we can maintain a good user experience uh, to our end users that is a very simple to integrate so that's what we are going to learn in this tutorial so let's get started so here I am in an Android Studio project. So this project which I am continuing, which I have built while uh, while recording the tutorial of uh, Google Analytics. So we are I am just continuing this project. But don't worry if you are new and you haven't watched, then uh, it's also I mean you uh, it is not a mandatory for this uh, Crash Analytics. So I am going to just remove the code of the analytics here, and this is an on click listener of the button and inside the code i have removed it so this is basically an empty project right now and uh, what we want to do in that we have one button here and when we'll click on this button then we'll force our application to crash and we want that crash to see in our crash status portal on a firebase so for this one i'll just rename this button to a test crash and one thing that uh, you, that you need to set up a Firebase project for Crash Analytics, you just need, it is a simple step, yes, you just need to sign in into Android Studio with your Google account, just how I did it here. And uh, I have already did it and uh, you just need to connect your project with the Firebase. So you can just go to your tools and Firebase, this side assistant will be open and you can just click on this Crash Analytics. So here first option, you need to choose get started with Firebase Crash Analytics on clicking on this one you will get a button here connect your app to firebase so and as i have already connected this in our analytics tutorial uh, this is showing as a connected but you just need to click on this one so it will redirect you to the firebase portal and then you can just name your project and you can just click on next and within 20 to 30 seconds your project will be ready if you still want to see the steps then you can just refer to the firebase uh, analytics portal analytics tutorial so I'll provide the link in the description itself. So the first part will show how you can set up the project. So as I have already set up the project, second part is the add crash statics SDK. That is the dependencies which we need in order to run, include the crash statics in our project. Just click on this one and click on accept changes. So in the background, it will automatically add the dependencies in our Gradle files and will sync the project automatically for us. And yes, sync is done. And now Firebase Crash Statics is ready in our project. So let me show the Firebase portal as well. So this is the Firebase Analytics project. It is the same project which I am now currently using in our Android Studio. I am clicking on this one. For seeing the crashes, you just need to click on the run. And in the run, you will see option Crash Statics. Just click on this one. And now it will show something like this. Add an SDK because we haven't. Uh, test any crash yet so just go to our android studio run our application okay sorry we also need to force a test crash here so in the inside on click listener i'll just throw a null pointer exception now we can run our application yes our application is now running and i'll just click on this test crash and yes, our application is crashed. So let's see in the Firebase portal if we get some crash reports here. And uh, yeah, you can see here installation successful. And I'll just refresh this to check if it has detected our crash. Yes, it has detected our crash. And you can now see the same uh, different window here. And uh, you can see here crash is one. So you can see a crash reports here main activity dot on create lambda so on in the on create function in the main activity file you your user experienced a crash and which crash is what was that 
java dot lang dot null pointer exception so null pointer exception we have got here and uh, we can also expand this by clicking on this crash and you will get all the details of this one like uh, you can just get directly you are getting a line this is the package name main activity it's a file on create is a method and you also get a line number as well in the 14 line number so let's see in our android studio yes this line is 14 and this line caused this crash so this is how you get a detailed report about where what went wrong where it went wrong and how you can resolve that then you can check also not so this helps us to if the user experience some crashes and uh, then we can see in the in the here uh, crash studies portal what went wrong and then we can fix that issue we can take a preventive measures and also it shows a lot of data to us like uh, if you just click on this data then you can see the device you get all the device details it is brand is google model is sdk g phone and operating system you also get android 13 orientation it is it rooted or not what is the date and time of the crash which version of your app had this crash and the, you get also get the uh, how much ram was free of the device and how much disk was free so you get all the detailed data about the device as well so if there is something that is related to the specific model then you can also analyze that according to use this data so this is how uh, you can add crash lattice and it is very much powerful because it is gain, giving you a lot of data and gives you a real insights of uh, where our, our application is not doing well. So that's it about crash lattice. I hope you now have a clear understanding about how to do all these things. If you still have some doubts, you can put your questions in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer them. Or alternatively, if you want some more help from me and uh, or other Android developers, then you can join our WhatsApp group. Uh, the link in the description and the first comment so that you get a chance to connect with other android developers and connect personally with me as well if you like this video then please click on like share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you will be get notified whenever such a new video is published we will meet in the next tutorial with some another interesting topic till then goodbye happy coding